Hi guys, Drews here. I am here to film another new video for you guys today. Today is a very exciting video. Um, it's the end, it's the beginning of the month slash end of the month. So that means it is time for our April wrap up. Now for the month of April, it was kind of not my best reading month. I'm going to say it's actually not my best reading month. In the month of April, I read nine books here. I have all but two of them because two of them were library books that I've already returned. Um, so I have a short wrap up for you guys today so it should be a short video. In the month of May I read two books so far and I'm really loving my reread of Kingdom Scars. I'm um, gonna talk about my current read. Um, I'm halfway through Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo, this final book in the Kingdom Scars duology slash Grishaverse. Um, I am reading this for my book club. This was a Queer Reads book club pick for the month of April, which I'm a, I am know I'm a month behind. Um, but I am halfway through this book currently and I'm really loving it. I can't really talk much about my thoughts and feelings on this because I don't want to spoil you guys of what happened in here. But overall, I am enjoying it and I'm so happy I am because I was super scared that I wouldn't because this is the final book in the Grisha universe. So we'll see how I feel towards the end of the book. Um, so yeah, currently reading this and enjoying it. And then I think my next read is going to be Chain of Gold, maybe, which I have right over here on my shelf. I forgot to grab it. But my next read is going to be Chain of Gold. So yeah, this is what I'm currently reading. And now on to my uh, reading stats first. <laughs> That's upside down. Here we go. Now we're going to do my reading stats for the month of April and my star ratings that I have. Um, like I said, it was nine books this month. Total page count is 3,362 pages. Um, I'll save my biggest and my smallest book of the month for the end. Um, zero one stars, zero two stars, three three stars, four four stars, two five stars. Eight of these were audiobooks, one of these was an ARC. Zero of these were buddy reads. Three of these I completed series four. One was a graphic novel. Two was library books. One was a physical read. Four new releases. One owl crate. And four of these books was on my TBR. And on my TBR is a new category for us. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the one that I was kind of disappointed by. Um, and I'm kind of hard to it's kind of hard to talk about this one because this is a finale to the trilogy and that is A Vows of Bold and Deadly by Bridget Kemmerer. Like I just said this is a finale to the Curse Breakers trilogy. The first book is A Curse So Dark and Lonely and we follow our main character named Harper as she's an ordinary girl in DC, Washington DC and one day this like random stranger from the street pull her into another universe uh called emberfall and it's kind of like a shadow hunter type of world is what it is and so if you love shadow hunters you would definitely love this the very first book was a beauty and the beast retelling so we follow that type of storyline throughout the trilogy and i was just kind of disappointed by this one um like i said it's hard for me to talk about sequels and especially if they're finales to the series this one was kind of a letdown for me which sucks because i was really anticipating this one uh i love book one i gave it five stars and then book two was a four star and this is the lowest in the trilogy this was a three star read for me um yeah i can't really say much more without like really spoiling what happens in here um so if you guys want a spoiler f or a spoilery discussion about this book i can probably do that for you guys but i try to buddy read this with my friend uh mandy but I think she finished it before me, so I'm not really counting it as a buddy read. Um, but I am happy that I completed another series this year. Um, the next book that I read, let me see, yeah, was The Trials of Apollo, book five, The Tower of Nero by Rick Ryden. This is the fifth and final installment in this series as well. So again, another sequel that's hard to talk about. I cried in here. I love seeing all of our characters that we had from Percy Jackson's world all the way up till now. Um, everyone came back. I was so happy. It felt like Endgame times two. Um, I really enjoyed this. This one, 
right here this is a five star read for me but this book got me in a reading slump that's why it was such a small amount of books this month because of this book right here i did not know what to read next um after this amazing middle grade book and i'm so happy i read it this year and again another series completed so we're flying through this wrap up because i suck at summary but this first book uh is called the hidden oracle and it follows this greek god named apollo and he gets in trouble from zeus up in mount olympus and so zeus sent him down to the mortal world and he uh his punishment is to go on these many quests and to be a mortal person and it's a kind of all adventures type of story and if you know anything about rick Ryden, you know he has found families he has lgbt characters in here uh, and all of these books are out now so if you want you can do like a rick ride and binge read um which i would love to reread all of these books and catch the like cameos from other characters or catch the easter eggs from other series if you know what i mean so i would definitely love to reread this sometime soon but hopefully next year i can reread this but really enjoyed this five out of five stars definitely my favorite book of the month um, so like I said, I didn't know what to read next after The Tower of Nero because of how good it was. But this book right here, Star Wars The High Republic, Light of the Jedi by Char Charles Soleil. This one I read after Tower of Nero just because I wanted something fun to read. And I know these Star Wars books is always fun. And if you can't tell by my calendar here, it's m May 5th. So yesterday was Star Wars Day. So happy May the fourth be with you I'm a day late for that but I am a huge Star Wars nerd so you guys if you guys don't know that I don't know where you've been the last couple of years um but I am really happy I started this this is the first book in a new series by a lot of different authors I believe there's four authors that are doing this series um I have Claudia Gray's book right here actually not on my shelf anymore I've got I changed my books into rainbow um i have the second book which is into the dark by claudia gray which i read books by claudia gray before and i really love her writing so i know i would love that one this one i gave a three and a half out of five stars i didn't give it a quite four stars just because the beginning was kind of confusing to me we were learning all these new characters and i love the audiobook it was narrated by mark thompson who's amazing at the star wars audiobook so he makes them come to life so much and there was sound effects there was music happening it felt like a movie basically um so this is supposed to be set it says for over a thousand generation the jedi knights were the guardians of peace and justice and uh long before the first order be for the empire before the clone Wars, jedi lit the way for the galaxy and the high food public um this takes long before the skywalker saga so these are all new characters we'll be meeting. Um, my favorite is definitely the Wookiee character. I forgot his name already, but the Wookiee character was so funny to read from. Um, and I'm just really happy that I got this off my TBR. Um, this is one of the 2021 new releases that I wanted to get to this year and I did, so yay. So three and a half out of five stars, which is not a bad rating, so there's that. Um, the next book that I read was a book that I was shocked that it took me so long to read. Um, this book has been on my TBR shelf forever now. I think it's been on here since 2018. And that is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Now this one I can really talk about because this is the first book in a new duology. Uh, this book has been out since 2018, I believe. And I had it on my TBR shelf and I just wasn't in the mood for it. But I picked it up randomly this month and i was like okay a friend of mine really enjoyed this and she loved the male interest in here so i feel like i would like the storyline with that um it was actually really like an adventure book almost um there was a lot of quests that these two characters go on uh we follow our main character named uh M mia maya i forgot how they say it in the audiobook um uh, maya she is the only girl in the family of five but 
Her mother passed away super early on in the book, so she's dealing with the grief of a family member. So there's trigger warnings when we talk about grief. Um, and also there's other death that happens in here too, because this is a fantasy book. Um, and for a debut novel from Elizabeth Lim, I was really shocked of how much I loved this one. I knew I would love this one because I read a couple of her Twisted Tale series or Twisted Tale books from that series. Um, so I'm really happy I read this. I can't, if you love Mulan or Project Runaway, you will definitely love this book. I know that's like a weird combination, but it definitely reminded me of both of those two shows. Um, so definitely check this out if you love both of those shows. I really enjoyed it. It was super magical. The food in here, when she was talking about food, it made me so hungry. Um, the two main characters, Eden and Maya, I don't know if I'm saying those names correctly, but I definitely ship those two together. And Eden is a hawk boy, like he turns into a hawk, like that's a cool power to have. Um, so Maya is the only female in the family since her mother passed and she wants to become this tailor, but nobody wants like a female to become the tailor. It's always just men who does it. So she goes on a quest to try and be the king's uh, tailor. And so she goes on this quest with Eden and that's how our story begins with this one. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars and I'm already having, I already have the sequel right here, uh, Unravel the Dust. I have the sequel right here because I bought it as soon as I finished this book. Because I do not know how you guys waited like two years for the sequel. But I have the sequel. I'm hoping to read it in May. Spoiler alert for my TBR. But yeah, this was a really good first book in a series. And I'm sad that it's only a duology because I know I will love book two. So hopefully reading book two next month. And I gave this four stars. Um, after that, I have read one book that I was sadly disappointed by. But this is my biggest book of the month. And it's in middle grade, so I'm really shocked that this was my biggest book of the month. And that is Hollow Pox, The Hunt from Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is the third installment of the Nevermore series. I don't know if the series is completed, but I counted it as a completed series as of now. Because as of now, it's completed. But I finally got around to reading this book. I had this book on my shelf since Christmas. Um, it's actually pretty funny. This book has a story, funny story behind it. Um, my brother bought me this book from Burns & Noble as a Christmas present. And then my aunt bought me this book from Amazon. So I returned my Barnes & Noble copy to Barnes & Noble, obviously, and I kept my aunt's copy. So I had two copies of the same book, but that's okay. I really was excited for this and I sadly was kind of disappointed by this. I can't really say why I'm disappointed. I just felt like it was kind of left open so i really hope we have more to come in the future i hear this is going to be like an eight or a ten book middle grade series so if that rumor is true please let me know down below because i would really love more um i really felt like this was a filler book maybe which i hope not because i kind of don't like those um i give this one a three stars it sadly was not my favorite i love book one and two Book one was definitely my favorite out of all three books that I read. So I'm kind of sad to say that I wasn't a big fan of the third book. And it felt like I was just reading, um, I was just taking forever with this book. because It's 548 pages for a middle grade. So yeah, I kind of sadly didn't enjoy this one, but I'm hoping there will be more books in the future that I would love from Jessica Townsend or more books from the Nevermore world, I would really love to. Um, but yeah, if you guys know if any more books is coming into this series, please let me know down below. Uh, this one I gave a three out of five stars too, sadly. I'm so shy. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this wrap up will be very quick. Um, the next book I have is Runaways Volume 1 by Rainbow Rowell. And I forgot who the artist is, but I'll leave a link to it to a link to the book from Goodreads down below. Can you tell it's been a while since I filmed? Um, I recently reread this for a like, 
I wanted to do a vlog of me rereading them, but I kind of forgot that it was for a vlog video. So sorry, no reading vlogs recently. Um, Runaways Volume 4 follows a group of friends who are literally running away from their family and they have all these superpowers. One has an awesome bow staff that can shoot spells out of it whenever she wants. The other has a pet dinosaur um, as a friend. Like, yeah. Um, I wanted to read this because I believe Volume 4, 4 came out last year and Volume 5 came out this year, I think. And I haven't read those ones yet. I only read Volume 1, 2, and 3 because I binge read uh, those three last year or 2018. I can't remember which, or not last, 2018. I read them 2019 or I read them in 2020. That was confusing for me. Um, I really enjoyed this. I love the artwork in here. I wish I had a physical copy to show you guys, uh, but the artwork is amazing. I love Rainbow Rao's writing in here. Uh, she's one of my favorite authors. And yeah, I gave this one four stars and it was an enjoyable read. I read it very quickly just because I remember what happened in the first one, not so much in the second and third volume. So I'm really gonna take my time reading those. I do have book two, three, and four and I believe five checked out from my hoopla so I'm hoping to marathon the rest of this series and hoping to complete it soon and yeah gave it four stars can't really talk much about that one and on to the next book that I read um the next book I read I actually don't have with me either and that's The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning this is the same author who wrote the Sea Witch duology which I read last year and really enjoyed so when I heard about this book that was released last year. This was a Princess Bride retelling and I'm not a big fan of The Princess Bride. I do like the movie but I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but I really enjoyed this concept. I kind of pictured like The Princess Bride characters as these characters if that made any sense. Um, it's really hard to talk about books today. I don't know why. Uh, probably because I don't have like a physical copy to show you guys but the cover is really pretty and the reason why I read this book this month, I got it from my library because uh, NetGalley, and I forgot who the publishing company is but I'll leave them down below, but NetGalley and the publishing company was so kind to send me an arc of the sequel which is The Princess Will Hurt You or something like that. It's The Princess Will. I just forgot what the last half of the title is. I'm so bad. Uh, but it comes out July 6th, the sequel does. So I was like, let me get a head start on my summer reads and read the sequel ahead of time. And I haven't read the sequel yet, but I know I will want to before July. So maybe that'll be on my May TBR or June TBR. I don't know yet. Uh, but I will be reading the sequel soon because it's only a duology, so I have one more book to complete. Oh, let's all take a breath. <sighs> okay, um, the last two books that I read for the month of um, April, I really went out on a bang here because the next book was a five-star read for me, and that is Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas. This is a new a uh, young adult fantasy novel that is a Peter Pan retelling and oh man I really love this book. This book was a five star read for me. Again after this book I did not know what to read next. I really enjoyed this. Um, I know Cemetery Boys has LGBT characters in it but this one didn't which I felt weird having no characters from an LGBT author. So I don't know if that was a mistake on his part or what but there was no LGBT characters in here. Also, Wendy, we follow our main character named Wendy and she goes missing for five years. She goes, um, she was missing for like five years and she returns one year later after she was missing back to her normal life. But her brothers, um, I forgot her brother's name. Oh my goodness, what are they names? I don't know their brother's name. I kind of forgot what they were. But Wendy's brothers do not come back, but yet she's allowed to come back to reality. And if you know anything about the Peter Pan story, you know it's definitely a dark story, which I didn't realize until I read this retelling. Um, I read a lot of retellings this month. I just realized that. Um, but um, this is a good book. I really enjoyed it. It was fast paced. It kept me on my toes. I was 
gasping at the right parts. I was flipping the pages left and right. Um, would it be one I would recommend to all my friends? Yes, just because I know most of my friends like Peter Pan retelling. So uh, I actually read this based off of my friend Charlie's book review. He read, they read this before me and they enjoyed it a whole lot that they told me to pick it up. So I was like, okay. Um, and so thanks to them, I really enjoyed this one and I cannot wait to read uh, Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas in June. That's our June book club. That's our June Queer Reads book club pick. Um, so if you wanna join us for that, please do. I'll leave a link to our Queer Reads Instagram account down below so you can go follow. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. Five out of five stars. Definitely one of my favorites of this month. And then the final book in the month of April I read was Go the Distance by Jen Cal Caltania. I probably birched that. I'm so sorry. This is the newest Twisted Tale novel. And I also put this in my April book haul. Um, I really enjoyed this one too. Thank you so much to Disney Books and Nick Alley for sending me an e-arc of this. I was reading this a little bit before the publication date and then I forgot that I pre-ordered this book. So as soon as it came out, it came in the mail. So I was really excited to have this in my hands. Um, I really enjoyed this. This isn't my favorite out of all the ones that I've read. Even though I gave it four stars, four stars for me is like, it was enjoyable, it was a good read. I don't know if I will reread it again unless it was like anything like like all-time favorite books you know what I mean um but this is the 10th or 11th uh Twisted Tale novel uh in the series I know there's one more coming out this year which I'm so excited for because that's the Rapunzel retelling and my friend Taylor and I are already planning on better reading that one so I really enjoyed this it says what if Meg had to become a Greek god and so Hera sends her on a quest to go on this quest to become this Greek god and the reason why Meg has to become a Greek god is because uh, after Hercules survived all his quests he goes back to Mount Olympus and he becomes a god again. That's not a spoiler, it tells you right in the beginning of the book. Um, there is romance in here which I kind of wish there wasn't but it's Disney so what do you expect. Um, there's the chosen one trope in here as well which I kind of over that trope. Uh, but yeah, this wasn't like another retelling. It's a Hercules retelling, but Twisted Tales. Get it? Uh, that was so bad. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. I love the Hercules movie a whole lot. So I really was happy to read this this month. I gave this four stars. And this is the final book I read in the month of April. So yeah, there you have it. That is my April wrap book slash currently reading um i might not do a currently reading part in my may tbr but this is what i'm currently reading right now right here and then the rest are what i read this month for april so if you read any of these books let me know down below and i will talk to you down in the comments and i hope you have a great day or night and if you haven't yet please hit subscribe uh, we are almost at 150 subscribers, so if you can get me to 150, I would really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what book you loved this month and which book you did not love. That's the question of the day. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me soon because college is almost done for me, so I have summer vacation coming. So yay, more videos to come and a collaboration with my friend Taylor that we still have planned. And yeah, I am so excited for things to come for this channel. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.